Hello YouTube Stereo Collectors. This is take number three. One uh, take I started coughing because it's so dry in the house in February. Then the second take the batteries died and the camera shut down but now we have fresh batteries and we're ready to go. I've got it really polished this time. This is a NAD7125 from 1983-84. has the red LED display which are great. Excellent tuner in these, 25 watt per channel amp, external heat sink. Pick this up from a local collector who takes good care of his stuff. Uh, really in nice shape, hardly any dust in it. Um, great face plate. I've got it off right now because it was cleaning the controls. Um, this one here had a little bit of noise in the power supply, so I replaced all the power supply caps and set up the bias and the DC balance. And got it working really well. I put on some of these. Some banana plugs to the back instead of the spring-loaded uh, speaker clips. They get weak. It could barely hold. I use heavier gauge wire. I use 16 gauge wire. And which is a little bit too heavy for them. This way, you know, you can connect them. You're sure to get a good connection. So I ran this one for a little while. And I noticed um, the power switch was a little bit flaky. I would turn it on. Then would go off, then come back on again. It was the contacts breaking inside. Uh, very common. Almost any NAD from the 70s through to the 2000s that uses a TV3 or TV5 power switch, which is probably a million of them, this style here. Now, there's two types I've found, and I've worked on a lot of these over the years. I used to do NAD warranty work at a stereo shop. This is a TV3 double pull, double throw. It's a Matsushita switch. Um, mainly you see the Alps version of the switch. Um, the Alps one you can actually take apart, burnish the contacts, a little bit of lithium grease, and it'll last for years. These, you take them apart and they just fall apart. They're usually burned to a crisp inside. Um, the spring was still good on it. Uh, another thing that happens if you test this capacitor, it's a 0 .00 no, it's a 0 0.01 microfarad, 600 volt. Um, they've usually, they're usually gone. It's taken so many hits over the years. And this is keep the contacts from marking and any kind of a pop from the contacts. So here I installed a new TV3 Matsushita switch with a new uh, Mylar capacitor, polyester. I think it's a polyester, that one. Um, 600 volt, uh, 0.01. And uh, this is a single pole, single throw. That's really all you need. Some of them had double pole, double throws. And it was either doubled up in the 220 volt version to break both sides of the line, or one of the sets of contacts was used in the mute circuit. Um, this one doesn't have the same mute circuit. Ones that have a JFET mute circuit, um, the 7020, the 3020, the 3220, that line, um, that mute circuit isn't needed. Um, you can actually twist those together, put some shrink wrap on them. You don't need it. You can leave it engaged, and I can tell you, you can't tell any difference. It was some piece of engineering they didn't need. But anyway, there it is. Use some nice shrink, shrink wrap tubing. Should be good for years. And these, not that um, I'm advertising for Mauser, but they're the easiest place to get them. They're $2.99 a piece. They're actually uh, really good switches, much like the original, only 10 amp contacts instead of three. So this solves a very common problem, and I notice almost every NAD I work on these days, in the last few years, the power switch is bad in them. And well, the same can be said, I've had a few Kenwoods. I just had a Kenwood that I did, a 1972 Kenwood KA2002, and it had one of these TV3s in it. And I took it apart, and it's like it had been hit by lightning inside. I don't know how it even worked anymore. It was flaky, but it was burnt to a crisp. The um, bake, it was kind of like a bake light type of thing in there. It actually was burned through. There's a rib to for flashover. It was burned and pitted through. I'd never seen that before. But the unit was okay, just the power switch was gone. So put another one of these switches in it, and off it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening.